A water hammer pump works without an engine or electricity. It works because water gains speed through a short distance and then it is forced to stop suddenly. It is similar to accelerating a hammer and then having it suddenly stopped when hitting the nail. All energy accumulated during this stroke is released in a very short distance and then the force is multiplied many times. A hammer normally weighing about 500 grams releases on the nail a momentary force of up to a ton. The water hammer pump is made up of several lengths of pipe, a couple of check valves and a bottle where pressure is gathered. The valve in the middle of the drawing is in such position that water can pass freely in the direction shown by the arrow, but not the other way. The valve which spills the water for a few seconds at the right of the drawing is placed in the opposite direction and it remains open by gravity and then it is dragged by the water and abruptly closes and interrupts the flow. Let's see the sequence of operation. Water comes into the pump from a slightly higher source such as an incline in a natural waterway. The water spills out through the check valve at the right of the figure until the valve is dragged shut by the water itself. The sudden pulse forces the water into the bottle through the check valve and creates a high pressure zone. After several cycles, there is sufficient pressure to force the water from the bottle to go up a pipe into an elevated water tank. The cycle repeats itself and even if not all water is pumped but spilled into the waterway, the pump uses no fuel and can work as long as there is water in the source. I hope this explanation is useful to you. Please subscribe to my channel.